Hey besties, I am back with another beautiful hairstyle for kids. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I achieved this beautiful hairstyle on my girls. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalind. In today's video, I'm going to use this 3x expression okay, in 42 inches and also our rag tape comb and also braiding hair gel at the same time to substitute rubber band i'm going to be using yarn to secure the little little sections i'm creating or the ponytail <laughs> or whatever you call it okay so i'm going to be using yarn to achieve that So pretty much the look I'm going for again is gonna be a jumbo, jumbo bus braid. Okay, it's gonna be a, a large size. Okay, because again this is kids hairstyle. It has to be kids appropriate and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm just making the the hair a little big. Okay, or the size is a little bigger. That was not the normal size of braids. Okay. So, uh, uh, or hair that you will use for braiding the normal size of both braids. So, this is just going to be a large, um, boss braids, okay, on kit. So, I use that detangling brush to detangle the hair first. Once I apply the braiding gel around the roots, use it to pump it, and then I go in with the yarn to secure the roots, okay. Just secure it again. This was not, um, did not add any tension to their hair. Okay. It was so easy for, you know, it was so easy and there was no complaint about, you know, being too tight or anything. Again, I just tie it twice and cut the SS, uh, yarn off and then keep moving. That was pretty much how I achieved the whole head. Okay. Um, meanwhile, prior to this sectioning it all the way, because normally, most times I will, I will pat or section and braid, but this time I had to section the whole hair because at some point I had a different thing in mind, but fortunately it wasn't giving, it wasn't coming through. So I was just brain freeze and I wasn't thinking. So the only thing I could think of was just, you know what? If you watch the other hair below, you can see that I already started doing something there, right? And I just end up leaving it. So I told myself, you know what? Let's just uh, part this hair, put them in this little bun or something, and then we'll figure it out from there, okay? That was how I ended up doing it the whole hair. And trust me, when I was done, and of course I had to throw it in the cornrow here, but when I was done with the whole just sectioning, I told her, you know what, I'm done. I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have this hair this week, you know, just like this. Cause I, I'm just at this point, I don't know what to do to your hair anymore. I mean, I still have her sister to go through again. And I was already tired. Like I tried several things. It wasn't coming through. I guess that thing was just not gonna be true. So I was just giving up on it. Putting a little more time in trying to achieve what I intentionally want to, but it wasn't given. So I resorted in just create, I doing all these bonds and we'll figure out the rest later. So here I'm just again, I parted the little piece of hair that I want to con roll, okay, just so I have a little style going <laughs> in the front, okay. And just parted it, of course, apply my style. The braiding gel, okay, or shine and jam, whichever one, to the part, and then clean it up, okay? Now I begin braiding. So this is just you crossing your finger, okay? Taking a piece of uh, hair and then crossing it over and over. As you keep crossing, you pick hair. Again, this video was purposely left without speeding it up. This is my normal me. 
I am telling you honestly, this is on a 1X. You know how you put your video on a 2X or 3X, if, you know, fast forward it or make it faster. This video was just no filter, okay, added to it, nothing. This is just the way I filmed it. The only thing different, the only thing I did was just cut off the, the, the places that, you know, it's not necessary because I had so many <laughs> things filmed, the you know, so I just needed to cut off some things and I just brought you the needed thing that you need, okay? Again, in a slower speed. This is my speed, my actual speed when braiding. I take my time to braid their hair. Yes. If they're looking beautiful, I am looking beautiful too, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's on my head or not. I mean, my kids are looking beautiful. I am looking beautiful. So I'm happy to see them look beautiful. So I take my time, put in my time, you know, however I want it to look beautiful. It doesn't matter how it comes out, but I just pray that I hope that it comes out okay, you know, for them to go with. And that is pretty much, again, what I do. And if this is the type of mother you are and you're tired of wasting money, you know, sending your kids to the salon and all that stuff. And again, you have more than one kid, uh, girls. And, but you're interested in learning how to braid. Then why not? Okay. This video is for you to take your time one day at a time and keep practicing. Okay. Keep using the hair to practice. That is how I started. Okay. I started with her. My first. She is my first, okay? I started with her. I started braiding her hair when she was a little, a little two. And started braiding her hair. So at that point, I wish I could get some clips of hair and clips of video or pictures. I will put it there. But anyway, we just braid whatever comes. We just put it there and keep going, okay? And that's how we continue braiding up to today. So they've never, outside again, outside, a few times she went to my friend who was doing her hair when she was little. The rest have been the one you know, managing it. Okay, I've been the, I'm not a professional, but I've been the one managing it to the best of my ability and her sister as well. So again, I encourage you for your mother and you really want to learn how to do this for your girls. I mean, if I can, why not? I believe you will do the same too. Okay. But it's a matter of practice, okay? Doing it over and over and over and over and over. And this is something that I do once in a month or once in three weeks. So I don't do it every day or every week or every two weeks. Most times I leave their hair three weeks to four weeks before I give them a new hairstyle. So that's normally how they, how long they have their hair. I give them a hairstyle, okay? The longest they have had their hair was when I had a baby that was 2022. 20, that was the longest they had their hair because I was healing and all that stuff. So they had it longer. And again, I wasn't happy with it where I couldn't do much. So I just tried to make sure that it was looking nice before they go to school and stuff like that. But that was the longest time they had their hair. I can't remember how, how long they had it, but I know it was over almost six to eight weeks almost okay until i can heal better to sit down and breathe the hair and again there too so again i encourage you mothers okay to take your time and do it fast as you can so here we are done with the whole head and including the color of the front now it's on to the braiding part so i'm crocheting the piece of hair that i need to braid with okay so I put that one, the first one, the smaller one goes in first to cover her natural hair. You see me trying to cover her natural hair as much as possible, okay, just to cover it. Then I use the bigger part on top of it, okay. I place it on top, on close to the root, um, her root, okay, and then I begin braiding. So using the one that I just uh, crocheted in, cover the natural hair as my third leg, so the other one or two. If that makes sense, okay. So again, here I'm adjusting because some point it wasn't looking nice, so I was adjusting the braids, her natural hair, and everything. 
so that it comes out clean. And as you keep braiding, also add, apply a little shine and jam or braiding gel, whichever one you have. Apply it and uh, as you keep going, it helps to smooth out the hair, okay? And also comb as well, okay? It helps to um, keep those hair together, okay? That way, you are, it's easier for you to work with, all right? Especially with natural hair. You just do that, okay? Again, a little goes a longer. So me, again, still adjusting as I braid, still adjusting as I braid. That's the same thing. Just adjust as you braid and keep doing it, keep trying. It didn't come to me, you know, the first day or the second day, not the third day. I'm still learning even to today, okay? I'm still learning to today. There's a lot of hairstyles that I don't know how to do, and I haven't gotten to the point to do them yet, okay? So I'm still learning as these kids allow me, you know, and you, you know, be my model and allow me to do their hair. I'm still learning and all that stuff. You know how kids can be sometimes when doing their hair. They don't want to sit down and do their hair, but guess what? They want to be the first. They're going to be the first to go to the mirror to check out how they look after their hair done. Now, tell me how we're going to achieve the hair or the look that you want when you cannot sit down and do the hair. I mean, they are kids, right? That's the way they behave. So they're the first to, oh, mommy, I want to go and see how it looks. I want to go and see the mirror. I want to go and see the mirror. But sit down and do it. No, of course they do not do it. They want to, they just want to be everywhere and do every other thing, but not sit down. So again, you know, I, I mean, it's not easy. Don't get me wrong, you know. Kids are kids. So, but anyways, the more they can sit, we try to do something as easy as we can so they can get up and keep moving. So now I just braid the hair all um all the way to the end, okay, and then I'll begin to uh, will I say fold it or wrap it round, okay, um because I want to make that little knot that you see on the first braid, okay. So I just keep knotting it. I guess I'll use that word knotting it or rolling it or wrapping it, okay, whichever one you choose best. Keep wrapping it round, okay. Until the end of that, uh, hair is done, you know, until you get to the end of it. And I just spray this, um, was that, was that one of the sprays that I have at home? Okay. So I tried to measure it as I go. And here, this is how far we've come. So again, I'm just going to let you watch it. And I'll probably come to what the end of the video. I talk a lot, but I hope you enjoyed this video. We enjoyed it when we did it. When we did it and when we, you know, they were wearing it, they enjoyed it. They got a lot of compliments, you know. So, you know, even if they don't, I tell them, hey, if you're happy with it, that's what matters. Okay. We'll be happy with what you have. It will be comfortable and com um, comfortable and where's the word? And proud of your hair. Okay. It doesn't matter if the, another person appreciates it. As long as you appreciate it and you're happy with it, that's all my best, okay? That's the key. So again, enjoy the video and we will be right back, okay? Again, thank you for being here. We really do appreciate all subscribers. Thank you so much. And we can only pray that God will continue to bless you. God will continue to prosper you. God will continue to meet you at the points of your needs. And as you continue, May you be the best. May you come out with the best hairstyle for your kid. Okay. Happy braiding. I love you guys. See you soon.
Alright, so I'm applying this mousse to lock and seal everything up, okay? And I had to bring A2, okay? The first person you all saw was A1, okay? I had to bring on A2 into the video so she can see herself as well and be happy, okay? So again, it was very late and we were all tired and ready to go to bed. So this is me just um, installing or applying or, you know, adding whichever thumb you prefer to use adding beads okay to the hairstyle i mean for some reason all these accessories kind of take the hair from the one to hundred okay i mean it adds some beauty to it i mean i don't know there's something about you know the accessories okay for girls so that's pretty much what we're doing here okay and her sister has the same thing so pretty much each time i do their hair i try to do the same thing <laughs> They try to match together, but like, are they twins? No, they are not. But anyways, that's uh, pretty much um, what we're doing. This is the accessory time. So I hope you, okay, stick around and then, you know, enjoy the rest of the video. Also, we want to say thank you for having watched this video thus far. Thank you so much. You are the real MVP and we appreciate you. And please, we would like to hear you in the comment below what you like about our video, what you what we can do different or better, okay? Um, we welcome all those comments as well. And also, if you're a mother looking to start braiding your daughter's hair and this has encouraged you, we want to hear you as well, okay? So let's get started. Let's get all our tools together and get to work okay we can all do this honestly speaking we can do it so again thank you and we look forward to seeing you again next week in our next video have a good one and stay blessed everybody's saying that i lost my mind but i never ever given up this time Cause everybody knows that i've been Well, look at that hair isn't it beautiful and she looked gorgeous too meet our a1 okay in here meet our a2 we want to say thank you and thank you to our subscribers as well stay blessed stay fabulous and god bless you see you next week